Congratulations on being named our student athlete of the week and being an ECC champion once again. Talk about this weekend's effort by your guys. Oh, it was it was incredible. I mean, we got a big boost from our throwing segment, uh, throwing team. They they placed like one through five in the shot put and everything. So it was kind of hard for us on the oval to mess it up, right? Um, we but we were able to get big performances. I know our four by one did really well. Came in second. Our 4x4 four four came in first, Kurt came in first in his 800 meters. Andrew Mayer had a nice gutsy run after a vacation in North Carolina where he placed and got some points. And Peter Kramer going through uh, his Achilles injury and he toughed it out and finished the race for points. And, and I was lucky to have a couple of good races and I, and I helped the cause somewhat. Now as you know, I followed your career since freshman year when you really ran onto the scene, literally. Right. Talk about how you've improved and how you've been able to help this team get two championships in a row. Well, last year was a co-championship, but once again, you guys are champions. Uh, yeah, um, sure. I, uh, it's my freshman year when I was first started cross country. I guess I came out pretty well. I, it was, um, I was, the future looked a, very promising and everything. And then I battled with some inconsistencies, some health-related issues, and um, the last couple of outdoor seasons, I, I've been able to string together consistent performances that I, I hope are more indicative of what I could really do as a runner heading into my final season. Senior year next year, correct? Yeah, yeah. So wow. um, it, it'll be it'll be nice to continue to win like we have been, right? You don't want to let down. No. Nope. Um, and I know we're losing a couple people, Andrew, Pete. Karome is gone, and a couple of throwers are too. So um, right. it's it's definitely going to be tough to lose those people. And um, I don't know if or who we have coming in, but I know that me, Andrew Nadler, Dylan Chabelli, and Kurt, and among a couple other runners, hopefully will be able to do well in cross country and hopefully in the indoor and outdoor track seasons. A couple more things: winning it outright this year. How does it feel? You really overtook. Uh, Malloy this year? Oh, it was great. They won an indoor, and uh, I think we had our eyes set on winning an indoor, winning an outdoor last year. We thought we could really do it. A couple of things didn't go our way, and well, a lot of things didn't go our way, but then here, I guess, expectations were kind of mitigated. Um, we didn't really feel like, at least I didn't think that we had the, mm -hmm. the ability to win that by that much and then we did so it was incredible um, especially the later stages when we when we were starting to get the sense of wow this is this is this is not going away this lead is gonna stay it's not it didn't go down to the last event like it did last year which was mm -hmm. exciting mm -hmm. that was really exciting um, but this this time around it was it was definitely it was nice knowing that it's easier you know, to have a little breathing room yeah. yeah right now really quickly Wim, coach Wimberley takes over uh, midway through the year I believe how has he impacted this program? Okay. Um, well, I think right away, um, it was tough losing Coach Greg, first of all. Um, he was the person that I talked to before going here, coming here. Um, he was there for me and supported me up in my first two and a half years. So that was, that was a little difficult, first and foremost. Um, but Coach Wimberly, he right away, he took the time to get to know me, um, and I thought that was great. Um, and he, he came in with a set, set of ideas that he wanted to put into place. He had some more rules and stuff, and he wanted to get us organized. And I thought all his efforts to do, that, do so were, were good and everything. And, um, so, and I remember, as far as just uh, two days ago, Saturday at ECC Championship, uh, when I was going around the track 25 times the first time, the first race, he was there each lap, uh, cheering me on, giving me something, giving a new... Uh, Give him, give him a new cheer each time around. You freshen up, a, freshen up a little bit. So that was great. And now, talk about the student side. This is student athlete of the week. Talk about your junior year now. What are your plans for majoring, and what are you majoring in, and any plans for senior year after college already? Yet? All right, right. Um, uh, as my junior year, it's. I think it's been a little bit tougher than uh, it has been the, pa the past two years. Um, so it's been an adjustment. Uh, one that I've been able, I think, to make okay. Um, I'm a media studies major okay. and uh, business and liberal arts minor. 
and I'm trying to squeeze in a journalism minor. We'll see how that goes. I'm playing it, uh, playing it by year, uh, and so we'll see. But as far as media studies, I'd like to do maybe broadcast journalism. I don't know. Um, I have to check a couple of internships, maybe uh, some marketing and advertising um, endeavors, and hopefully things work out. And one more thing, a right. little fun fact about Tyler Bay. We know you're a great runner. What don't people maybe know about you? This is this is tough. Uh, I, well, uh, well, I'm a weird person, but um, I uh, I watch try to watch like three to four games of basketball a day. Um, I rely on my DVR for that. Uh, okay. I love it. Yeah. It's What's a, your team? Oh, I have to I have to like the Knicks, but I don't know if I would if I didn't live in New York. There's a, there's not a lot redeemable about them. Nope. No. All right, Ty. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations once again. All right. Thanks so much.